Hello there. Hi, how are you all doing today? It's me again. Uh, your favorite uh, YouTube guy. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really, but uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of video lately, mainly talking about wars. <laughs> Usually I only talk about love, now I'm talking about wars. <laughs> and it's driving me crazy should be driving you crazy too today is a beautiful day and it's september 22nd Who, whose birthday is it 22nd of uh, september 9 uh 2024 and uh, let me run this by you real fast like a little bunny you know I do my thing. <laughs> We're gonna talk about uh, Netanyahu, Benjamin Netanyahu, the Egypt, the uh, Israeli Prime Minister today. Um, I make it short and sweet. I ain't staying long cause I worked last night. Did the graveyard shift, you know, gotta make that dollar, man. A dollar, you know. So my eyes are burning and everything like that. But it's not bad comparing with what the people over there in um, <laughs> Gaza Strip in Palestine compare my burning eyes to theirs. It's not by the Lord. Comparing my burning eyes to the people in Beirut over there in Libya. Libya not bad at all so I'm just running by the, you this real fast because I asked you a question a few months ago and the question was do you think the Israeli prime, current Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is the right man for peace I can't hear you I said, no, hell no, he's not. He never was. And I, I think he will never be a man for peace in the Middle East. The Middle East will always be a war. There will always be conflict there as long as he's around. Yeah. He think he's doing a great job by bombing Beirut. But it's not, in bombing Beirut, it is, trying to get rid of what they call it Hezbollah terrorist group or Hezbollah leaders that's what he's doing he's bombing Beirut at night and still bombing the Gaza Strip huh yes he is still killing babies you know I've been talking about babies, the young children, for a long time. That's what he's doing. Wherever he go, wherever he bomb, wherever he air strike, wherever he artillery, the IDF uh, uh, operation goes by, there's babies being dead, killing babies. That's what Mr. Ned and all have been doing. And Nobody's saying anything. Are you freaking people crazy or what? Huh? Are you all mad? I mean, he's mad, but are you all mad? Can't anybody, can't anyone, can anyone tell me something wrong? Enough is enough. Can't nobody do that? I mean, the United States is talking shit, but he, he ain't listening to the United States. He ain't listen to nobody. No one is crazy. Totally crazy. It's upsetting. It's upsetting because if you gotta take out the bad guy, then go for the bad guy. Take the bad guy out. Nobody's saying you can't do that. Take the bad guy out. But why freaking take out the innocent people? Why kill the innocent people to get to one bad guy, or two bad guys, or three bad guys? Why? When you're so smart, 
The Israeli military is so smart. They got spies everywhere. They know exactly where to find their enemies. Why do why don't take the enemies out? Why killing the innocent people, man? That's what they've been doing. That's what they've been doing all along. I told you before. I told you before all that Mr. Nathan always praying for this. The day, the night when um, Isabel, when um, um, Amos, when, when Amos let it rain, um, rockets, and that con uh, festival concert in on October the 7th. Mr. Nathan, I've been praying all along. Allah, 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 please let them do that. I told you that before. You know why? Because the first word that comes out his mouth is, I can't even pronounce the name that they called it, but he knows what I'm talking about. He said, let them come because this is war. Now the difference between a war and a skirmish is that a war, you get immunity to attack every freaking that everyone in the area that he wanted to attack a long time ago but could not because it was just you hit me I hit you back that was the way it was operating but with a war the United States will back him the United States will stand up behind um, Israel because it's a war and the first thing that came out of their mouth, Israel got a right to defend herself. Bullshit. You have a right to kill you, to, to defend yourself. Yeah, but not to go around killing the innocent people and babies and all. But that's exactly what you've been doing from October the 7th. By the way, we're coming up to October the 7th. 2024 or make a walk make one here and there's no end in sight no end in sight because now first the first mission at now did last week was <laughs> I tell you these Israeli people are so smart man first the day it was those on radios he softened up Hezbollah, softened up the Le uh, uh, Libya before he attacked Beirut. He softened up Le uh, Hezbollah by using this, oh, I never heard of this before, using this freaking hand radio, those pagers. I didn't know things like that exist no more, but yeah. They're using those little pagers. They, for some, their um, technology or somehow, they get to, um, they get to find out where the shipment of, of um, and radios were going to Hezbollah. Okay, because Hezbollah had uh, disconnected their phone saying that the Israeli um, security people, they're so smart, will trace their call and conversation now if they're going to attack Israel or not. So Israel will get rid of their phone and get, get, get some pagers. But the Israeli found it out and found where they were getting the supply from the shipment huh? and going, going there. But somehow, I don't know, man, they're so smart. They go and booby chop these uh, pages before they've been shipped to Hezbollah. So, Hezbollah, have them think that, oh yeah, you know, we get, uh, they come in the tomato boxes or banana boxes or grape boxes or whatever, looking like nothing's happening there. But as soon as they get them, somebody right in the market and people start to, doing their, their grocery shopping uh, there, 
Pow! The, 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 the pages they explored. They explored last week. They explored last week, those pages. On Wednesday. Wednesday last week. They killed about 14 people. Wounded. Wounded about 3,000. Ah, that's one strike. From those pages. Yeah. I told you they're smart. So why the fuck, like, why, why are they killing innocent people? Why? There's no answer to it. Because they call it a war. So in a war, accident happened. They talk about, oh, they're using these mutant bombs. They're smart bombs. They can take out the uh, bad guys without injuring or killing the innocent. But it doesn't work like that doesn't work like that, it never did, never will. Yeah. So that's where it's at today, people. Mr. Net now is now fighting two wars. And don't, uh, I, I, and remember, Iran is still there. They're, 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 they're hell-bent on getting revenge for the guy that is really assassinated a few, a couple months ago. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? And you people just sit there doing nothing. Are you people mad? Oh, can, can't you do something? How oh, can you sit there and watch all your children of innocent family being murdered? Oh, it made no sense to me. And it doesn't make any sense to you, I'm sure. But that is what happened today, in the year of 2024. The murdering still continuing, okay? Still continuing today. And a Sunday when you all going to church, telling lies about you're Christian, I'm praying to God. You all are hypocrites. All freaking hypocrites. You're all killing babies, and you're talking about you're Christian and you're good. Good to me. You know, you people no good. Your leader no good. How can you be good when you're killing so many innocent people? For what? You only making, I said it's before, you only making more enemies, man. You only making more enemies when you should be having peace. It's ridiculous. So he's fighting, still fighting the, in Gaza, on the Gaza Strip, okay, in the West Bank, okay, all of Palestine is still tearing up and, you know, destroying um, Hamas, he said, in the Gaza Strip. That hasn't been end. That's no end to that. Children are still living on the beach with no water, no clean warning water, filth. Polar vaccine been given, germs. This is serious shit. And nobody's doing nothing about it. The United States can't do nothing about it. Especially, especially with the two party system, which, you know, like I said, the Republicans are up net in our ass. He get anything they want. He won't from him, from them. But the whole Middle East is still on fire. It's still got hatred going on. And it always goes on because you know your people been doing this thing forever. He's talking about, talking about the um, reason why he bombing Beirut is that he want to, he's displaced, he's displaced people to return to their land. In, in uh, on the Israeli side of the side, and it's not even the, the Israeli land anyway. It's Palestinian land, which you guys stolen away, and damn thief, bunch of thieves. And uh, you know, ten thousand, I think he says. So you got to bomb Beirut overnight. Just bomb the damn thing. They got a whole building, whole freaking front of the building like that, you know, 
and they boast about oh you catch a leader that the Merkel said um uh, and I think it was 1968 that the Merkel um, um, put a bounty out for because he had blown up the embassy somewhere down around that time period so there was a seven million dollar um, bounty out on that guy so uh, Netanyahu is saying yeah we, ki we, we, we kill one of the top wanted guy for you Americans I wonder if the American gonna give him that freaking ten thousand. Oh yeah, been giving the, Oh yeah, he'll get him. He'll get him. He uh, gives you a reward, sir. Kill some more. So it's not hint, sir. There's no hint to it. No hint to it. I told you the guy is just as bad as the one day over in Russia. His buddy. He's doing the same thing to the um the, the love of my heart, the freaking Ukrainian people. I don't care that much about Israel because Israel can defend herself. She proved that many times over, over and over. Because they're so smart, they're so smart, they're so clever. And the American is behind them. What's the problem with you people, man? What is the problem with you people? I mean, Right now, there's only two wars going in the world. In the freaking, apart from those one over there in Africa, they, um, you know, they, or whatever they are there, Sudanese or whatever. But that's, these are the two major wars. The Israeli and the Hamas, and now the Hezbollah, and the Russian and the uh, and the Ukrainians. Those are two wars. Those are two killing wars. Check it out. Those are two freaking killing wars that are destroying everything around them, including lives. No other country. I guess China is just waiting to waiting to see how the how, how, how everything turned out before they started with a crop to either attack or drop, attack dropping because you know they're after the Taiwan, they want Taiwan, they claim Taiwan to be theirs. I guess so they're just waiting. I guess the other one in North Korea is just waiting to, to see, yeah? What's the matter with you people? Why on earth can't you live in peace? God said live in peace, don't you be believe in God? So, you know, that's what I'm saying, people, on this beautiful Sunday. I shouldn't be swearing, but I'm so pissed off, and you should do. You should be pissed off because innocent people are dying. Babies are dying, man. Young children. They've been wounded, they've been crippled. No mother, no father, no sister, no cousin. They all been being made, what you call it, orphanage. And what everybody is doing. As soon as you talk, open your mouth and talk about Israel, everybody hate you for it. Because you can't, they're untouchable. The Jews are untouchable. Don't talk about the Jews because the Jews are good people. Yeah? They're the only good people. You're anti this or you're anti that. They call you. And my skin is black. No one suffer than me, the black man. I need you all complaining about something. Ridiculous. I'm not complaining. I'm not, I'm not worrying about being black. I've been called uh, N-words or all the other words that are uh, disparaging. I'm not worried about it. But you all want to get to your, get to even with something. You, you never have peace. How can you have peace when you kill, a, you take the, they take out a whole family? A family of seven, you kill all except one. How can you have peace? You love, someone would always hate you. Someone would always hate you. So why can't you have peace? Why can't, why can't you have peace? It's not now. When will you find peace? On what condition will you have peace? And what about freaking hostage? I think there's 108 still remaining. And, and 
dead, still remaining, whose family is still waiting on them to come home, dying, haven't seen their, their loved ones for over 12 months. What about them? No word about them. Because you want to get the bad guy first. And if you can't get the bad guy first, then you get the bad guy with even the ostrich in there together, kill them all too. Let them come out looking like beanstalk. Because they, they, you know what they're going to? The hostages, that is. Do you ever think of them, what they're feeling, what they feel, what they, all their family are feeling? Do you understand the pressure, the, 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 the trauma, the nightmare that these people have been having over their own loved ones? And you give me, you care not, you care not, you care not. So it's ridiculous. So that's my piece, people. I ain't staying long. I just want to yeah, get the shit off my chest. And you should have a lot on your chest to get off to because it hurt, man. It hurt. It hurt to know that this man just keep bombing up the place, you know, destroying people's lives, you know, you know, because, like I said, um, you know, in two wars now. And no one know where it will end. Because that's what everybody, the, the American government been trying to avoid, is to further the escalation. So that other country don't get in them. But how long, how long, how can, how can put people put up with this one? Put up with it, that this man is killing people to get few bad guys. It doesn't work like that, it shouldn't work like that, and it's not right. So basically that's what I'm saying, people. I know you hear me talk about this before. So you know I'm pretty steamed up about it because I don't like bullies. I don't like people taking unnecessary lives for no reason at all. Uh, if there's a reason, find the people who commit co committed the crime. And what about that? Yeah. Why don't we bring them to justice? Let them stand up and, uh, you know, pay for the... Why do you have to bomb me? Eh? You have to bomb on your strike and everything. Booby chopping their pages, killing them out, innocent people, just doing their shoppings. Just doing their shopping, they pow. With young children around too. You take your, they, can, they, this doesn't happen. Hezbollah don't have nothing to, 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 to hurt Israel with. A few rockets come over here, but the Iron Dome take those out way before they get there. Israel really got bomb shelters. You got everything. But what does these poor people have? They got nothing. And then you're killing them all. So that's what I'm saying, pleading. Pleading, Mr. Netanyahu. You got your fun. Stop the war, stop the killing, stop the murdering. You know, let's get an end to this. Let's have peace. Like I said, I'm only talking about this. But you know, the love of my heart, Ukraine, I am still with Ukraine, no matter what. I want Ukraine to win, okay? I don't care about what you do, but I want Ukraine to win because the Russian went and invaded their sovereignty. Want to kill them too. So can we just have a hand to the war, please, and bring it down? I love you all. May God bless you. Peace.